So, uh, okay. Okay, uh, I would like. Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, uh, yes, first, I will introduce you, uh, then you can start. Okay. Uh, I am Mohammad Maru Siddiqui from Jafar University, and it is a great pleasure for me to welcome first IEEE webinar organized by College of Engineering, Jafar University, under the aegis of IEEE Student Branch, Oman Section. And I would like to introduce our guest speaker, uh, Dr. Ziyad Mohammad Ahmed Ismail. And he is uh, currently working as an associate professor in AMA International University, Bahrain. He had done the doctorate from the LUT UK, and he have more than 40 year experience in industry and teaching. Now, uh, I would like to request to Dr. Ziyad, share your uh, presentation and uh, experience with us. Thank you so much. I would like to thank uh, University of the Park. Uh, College of Engineering, uh, Department of Electrical and Electronic for inviting me for this event. Uh, I hope it will be uh, uh, successful for you. Uh, for me, um, as you talked about my uh, uh, academic work, uh, I've been in AMA University for more than five years. Uh, about five years, I'm uh, uh, coordinator for the for the capstone project for students uh, to be graduated, and uh, working on uh, this uh, type of uh, project with two sessions or two courses, uh, which is a project A and a project B. So I will also give a little background about our university ama it's well known with dr muhammad so this is uh, ama university's international university and the one of the branches is in bahrain and one of the colleges in ama is college of engineering which uh, offers two programs mechatronics engineering and informatic engineering both programs are ABIT accredited for six years. And uh, recently, uh, these months, we are preparing for renewing our ABIT and preparing the uh, SSR for applying for another uh, period for ABIT. The title of uh, this I proposed, which is Capstone Project Proposal and Report Writing Structure, I will go through uh, how, uh, how are our students uh, dealing with the Capstone Project? What is the preparation needed for that? And how do we interact with the student for this type of project? The topics I'm going to go through is the proponent choice. Proponent means the students that they are going to, to, you know, to prepare or work with the project. And here uh, we have maybe no more than three students to be together as a group uh, in order to work in their project. Then we have uh, the, the other point is the choice procedure, applying proponent. How do they choose their uh, project under what rules? Then they will apply proposal for that. And then after that, they do enrollment. And we give as well lecture for the students. How, do, how will they deal with their project? And how will they write their uh, topics and chapters? Then. Chapter writing, advisor monitoring. The proponent choice, uh, the project title may be proposed by the faculty. This is one side, either to be proposed by one of the faculty in the program, and then the student will choose this project, or we have most of the students are working in industry or in other factories, and they can bring their own problem uh, to work with it. 
in order to modify whatever they have here, uh, whatever they have there in their work, or maybe they have some ideas to propose for the uh, for the program. I mean, for the uh, program head or program committee or coordinator. So they will get some ideas. The proponent should apply after that. If they have ideas, they should apply three ideas or three title of projects. And this title of project should be uh, should be yeah, discussed with uh, ad hoc committee. Uh, yeah, and the ad hoc committee from the department, and we discuss these three projects in order to give them yeah, any, some points. Maybe they are thinking too far that they could not do their project or maybe it is already has been done before by some students, so we can guide them for these. In this condition, we will choose as a committee, we will choose one of the proposals that is presented by the students. And it is a very short uh, meeting with them. And then we agree for that uh, project. Enrollment and submitting uh, the acceptance form. We have forms for that, okay, which is by the advisor. So you will be assigned to a certain advisor or maybe the coordinator uh, to agree with the students or his accept that this student will be under my supervision. And this will be enrolled, uh, this form will be enrolled to the uh, uh, to the dean of the college throughout the program head and the associated dean and these forms i will show you later these forms uh, are all in the college or in the department available uh, for the student to uh, fill and uh, go with In this uh, period, during the period that the student uh, register his uh, project, we give lectures as a coordinator. Of course, this is the job of the coordinator. We'll give lectures for the students. And uh, these, this lecture will include the whole semester. And uh, we'll give a background uh, or a good give introduction to the student about the student outcome for this uh, course. What are the outcomes for this course uh, to, to get out of this after finishing the project? And what are, <coughs> sorry, what are the assessment methods? Assessment methods, of course, the marks that he's going to get on what how it is divided and so on. Teaching and learning methods. In this kind, yani, we are going to uh, yani, drive the student for the references and uh, how will he uh, go with, the, with this writing? What are the titles should be there in the structure? Beside that, also we give the student the textbook and uh, references he was going to use. Beside the references, there are also IEEE transactions that we can guide the student to go and uh, look through. Because what we want from the student uh, in his literature, of course, he should look for uh, papers or projects at least he should include in his reference two papers of IEEE. And he should include also what are the people, what the people has done before as a students, or maybe as, uh, as the thing related to his project, what is available in the market, what is he going to modify, or maybe he is going to add some idea to that. So this also will be all uh, driven to the student or given.
Project A lectures will include the course requirement. So the course requirement, and these are, of course, will be divided into three terms, I mean, for the course, because the course we have uh, three months uh, in our university, and I mean the course period. So it will be divided into uh, uh, the chapters that we are going to explain for the students what he's going to write. It's divided into three periods. For chapter one, as an introduction, he will do as an introduction to, the, to his project or to his title, what is related to his title. Uh, it's a normal thing in any report that he is going to go through the introduction. And the background of the study, background of the study has many other titles within it. And he should go also to present what is the background, what, what are there available? I mean, uh, what is the problem there? How is he, are he going to deal with this? The other period is, <clears throat> the, I mean, the mid period will be a review of literature. Review of literature, that means uh, what are the projects has been done before, which is related to the proposal of the student. And maybe uh, we ask also, sorry, not maybe, but we ask the student that he should propose at least five literatures for the local. Local, uh, maybe local related papers or projects. Local means in Bahrain or in GCC countries. And uh, also for five papers or five projects related to his work, uh, which is international. International, maybe some other universities in general, European, American, or whatever. Uh, and even for uh, journals, IEEE and others. In chapter four, he will go with the design specification. What is his design going to be? What he is going to use? I'll show you also later, uh, inshallah, uh, a sample for a project that is prepared by the students. And this design specification will include uh, three types of designs because the student, when he is going to choose his component, of course, there are a lot of priorities or a lot of uh, uh, kinds available. For example, if you want to choose a microcontroller, there are many types of microcontroller. So why he choose this one rather than the other? If he chooses a motor for his work, okay, why this motor? Why not the other motor? And so on. So in this chapter, <clears throat> also, he will present uh, three choices, and from these three choices, is going to use some formulas in order to get one of the choices, which is the most uh, yani between the others, the, the other uh, two, uh, in the field of safety, reliability, and availability, and cost. So these factors will be calculated altogether in order to choose the one uh, which he, one of the three uh, in terms of components and other things. And, and also in this chapter, chapter four, there will be his John chart available, the flow chart, the sketch of uh, the yani preliminary sketch for his project. Chapter five, design procedure analysis, that means he should uh, complete uh, his project and he, in hardware and uh, testing it and give us a result. By the way, uh, project we have, uh, as I told you, uh, it is divided, the capstone project is divided into two, which is called the project A and project B. Project A to be presented by the students, uh, which is including 
from chapter one to four, and there will be a defense committee for uh, preparing uh, this uh, project from chapter one to four, in order to be discussed with a committee from the department. And then we might give some future idea for the student. Uh, he will get use of this. Or maybe we can criticize the student about some point or weak points. So they will get benefit out of this committee. So for up to chapter four, we have uh, project A. Project B will be including the chapter five, as I said. It is a design and analysis. So in this chapter, the student should be uh, should complete should complete his uh, uh, work as a hardware, and uh, he should test it, and also uh, take uh, results out of his project. The final period will explain to the student during. Uh, the period of registration of project A. What is chapter six? Chapter six will include the conclusion of his work and about his report. And then chapter seven will be <clears throat> recommendation for future work. What is his suggestion? Maybe some other student will carry on after uh, this group to work on. Then, <clears throat> sorry, then design a presentation for oral defense. There will be at the end as an oral defense for, for uh, the project, which is including chapter one to chapter seven. And this also will be uh, ad hoc committee uh, from the uh, department. And includes the manuscript submission, design prototype should be working 100%. And uh, there will be also a plagiarism report should be attached with the report of the student before uh, presenting it in the, with, the, with the committee. And the plagiarism should not increase more than 20% as a Belgiarism. <clears throat> the, the score sheet, we have a score sheet for project A and score sheet for project B. So the committee will put marks for the students or for the proponent uh, while there is a meeting with uh, the project A, I mean a defense, defense and project A. So these will relate it to as an assessment to the attendance, which is 5%, and project assessment will be 60%, and technical report will be 20%, and oral presentation will be 15%. So total will be 100. I will, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I will uh, go through the um, forms that we are using with the students. So this is the acceptance form that will be uh, enrolled by the supervisor. And the form is uh, directed to the uh, college dean 
throughout the associated dean. And this form will say that I have accepted this group to be under my supervision. And then there will be, of course, a signature and uh, enrolled to the dean. So it will be as a document. The other, uh, what we have to follow the student, which is a consultation form. Consultation form, this is also a sample. And it will be, for example, it will be during the period, maybe two for uh, two, three weeks, will be consulted by the, uh, by the advisor. So in order to follow the, uh, the work processing or proceeding of the work, we have to meet the group, the students. As you see here, we have three students uh, to meet the group and then to, give, to make this report as a consultation form. So during one semester, there will be three reports concerns this consultation. Beside that, there is a monitoring. I mean, maybe there are a problem and this form is design project progress monitoring, okay? And there will be a monitoring for the students uh, on their writing chapter by chapter, for example. And this monitoring will be also done as two weeks or three weeks, depends with the, with the advisor. And uh, what are the students doing during this period? Uh, by writing, for example, chapter one, and maybe they have started with chapter two and what is maybe they have some problem to ask the advisor about references they can't find whatever so anything that can be monitored by the advisor At the end, Yanni, for applying as a project A, so they will ask for a presentation. This form is an oral defense application form. They will ask for <coughs> presentation of their project. So they will apply this form to the dean throughout the uh, advisor, and they will fill it, of course, and require the day for presenting and the committee ad hoc committee will uh, will be the uh, present and it will be uh, will be adjusted to discuss this uh, project as you see we have two three names here should be for project a <coughs> presentation uh, sorry <coughs> for a project a presentation uh, maybe there will be two faculty with the coordinator but for project b there will be two faculty with the coordinator and external examiner the external examiner should be an engineer with experience of five years the students will have to look for that type of external examiner. And uh, he should be in the field of mechatronic, mechanical, or electrical engineering, or electronic. And he will be one member of for the committee, as a member for the committee. So the committee will be including three members uh, uh, beside the uh, coordinator. So four members to discuss with the student as a final year project. The, 
There is a score sheet for that, the score sheet that the students, uh, sorry, that's the committee will fill. And as you see here, the project assessment as it will include literature survey, there will be some marks for it, uh, coverage, use of moderate engineering tools, meeting uh, elastic design and so on, design experience, these will have about 55%. And then the technical report will include the appropriateness of abstract to the project, introduction, background, ability, and methodology he's using and the result. And at the end for marking, there will be, this is for the oral defense. I mean, each student is separate. How is this behaving uh, in his uh, defense and his talking and defensing uh, the questions that submitted by the committee? There is another sheet for, um, for a score, which is for project B. Some titles are uh, common but it more it will be more uh, explained more detailed and finally also this is this uh, uh, zone will include the behavior of the student in the defense during the project a presentation for lectures we I or I as a coordinator, I will explain for the students how will they write their project. So the titles will be chapter one will include, as we said before, introduction. Chapter two will include the background. The background will include, should include these points. So the area local investigation for example, the company where the problem is present, describe the problem uh, situation considering global, national, and local uh, forces, justify the existence of the problem situation by using statistical data and uh, authoritative uh, sources, make a clean, make a clean clinching the statement that will relate to the background of the proposal. Then he will go to the objective of the design. Objective of the design project, he should include what are the objectives should be there. That will include related to the title and as a proposed title, as a design, as a develop, and applying the principal learning form. Also objective constraints, uh, device must allow a safe and effective uh, heart valve replacement. The implemented device must not leak, or maybe any, this is for safety. And the procedure uh, to use the device should be as simple as possible, uh, trying to minimize the number of steps, tools and time required in the uh, procedure. The system should be safe. <clears throat> and this means that device should not cause, should not cause any kind of reaction in the, uh, in the patient while, while being used and no allergic uh, response. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> vessel damage or ele elevated levels. Maybe that student is working with uh, some chemicals and uh, these types of chemicals are dangerous. So he should be aware of all of these. The procedure must leave no uh, resident, re residual, sorry, residual tissues uh, to material running in the uh, 
circuitry system. Uh, when he's preparing his prototype, I mean, maybe his wiring connection, maybe they look clumsy, but it should be all neat and uh, well designed. Must allow appropriate level of uh, blood flow while the intervention of uh, is where intervention is performed. The fixation method should guarantee an appropriate uh, location and uh, orientation of the implant over the time panel. Sorry. <clears throat> over, over a time period, at least as uh, long as the implemented uh, part uh, valve itself and so on. The device itself uh, should be as simple as possible, require minimal training for use, must minimize human error. The tools must be as adaptable as possible to the existing heart valve model in the market. Chapter two will also include significant of the study. Here describe a contribution of the study as a new knowledge make finding more uh, conclusive. And the second point, it uh, cites the uh, usefulness of the study of specific groups such as the Kingdom of Bahrain company that the project will serve, <clears throat> maybe AMA International University, faculty member, student, whatever. Scope and delimination. The scope answer the question, what does the project can do? And the delimination answer the question, what does the project cannot do. That means the um, obstacle that might happen with the project, I mean, with the student project. Then he will give definition of terms that is used in his project uh, one by one, which is related maybe to the IEEE as names and safety. Chapter three will be literature review literature review, conceptual literature, and there will be background literature, which is including local and foreign study. And this will include use of function, composition, sketch, technical specification, all will be within this chapter. At the end of the chapter, there will be a synthesis for his work. Chapter five will include the design specification, design specification. Um, and this one, which is the including the research paradigm. Research paradigm will show as a, a block what are the inputs of his project, uh, what is the processing, and what are the output. Of course, our student and most of their work they use because they are mechatronic they use either plc as a controller or might use microcontroller as a controller for their project and as you know students these needs inputs and will give outputs according to the program which is written in the plc or in the microcontroller so this will be shown in chapter Four in chapter uh, five. What are the develop? What is the development has been done? And this will be given as a step by step for the student uh, as a design in mechanical or electrical or electrical. At the end, the project issue, some points are there, then they will give as a project flow chart, flow chart because either PLC is including a letter diagram and flow chart, 
or either a microcontroller will include a flowchart for programming. Block diagram, explain the block diagram of his project and circuit, then joint chart and then bill of materials. As we see here, we'll see a sample for that to be deep, but these are explained for the student during his project A, during his project A. Planning, we'll go through the planning, John chart, he will, John chart, in this John chart, he will show uh, the periods or he can divide his uh, period of work into weeks and in each week, what is he going to do? What is the task of that week? And this is a sample of John chart. Then the chapter five will be the design procedure uh, will include all whatever he has done, the analysis and the prototype uh, photo or video and so on. Up to the end, I will show you as an example for this sample. So as we see here that the, this is a complete project, uh, capstone project, <clears throat> which include, this is the first page or the front page of the project, and it should be binded and uh, submitted to the department with the three copies, with the three copies. So two copies will stay in the department, in the college, and one copy will go to the library and will include all of these information, the title, the student's name, and the period that ha they have done. There are some sheets, including with the project, which can be uh, submitted also, acceptance sheet, and also when they bind their, their project, it will be the, يعني, signed by the faculty by the advisor, I and mean in the faculty who's advising and coordinator, and also the dean. And there is another sheet which is approval for all our oral defense, uh, also should be signed later on in the booklet, in the book report. The other sheet is approval for uh, the, this, sorry, approval for oral defense, that means uh, the mark he is going to get, and what is the final name of his project? Okay, the marks should be uh, as an average for the group should be fixed here in their project, and also to be uh, signed by the dean and the uh, advisor. Abstract coming in the front page. Okay acknowledgement or table of content should include all of the should include all of the uh, pro report structure titles at the end as we see here up to ch chapter six seven then there will be a list of figures given after that list of figures and the pages of the figures and list of uh, list of tables and also the pages of these tables. List of the graphs, if they have a graphs, they will give also a list of the graphs. And then uh, we'll start with chapter one. Chapter one will be introduction, as you see. <clears throat> and then chapter two, which include the background of the study, maybe something related to, the, to their work and they will talk about uh, this project precisely is for the recent event of COVID-19 and the students are presenting an oxygen pumper for this uh, for their project problem statement as we see here what is the problem behind 
Then the objective for the design project, one of the titles, what is the objective? Significant of the design, scope and delimination, what are the uh, problems they might face, okay? Then definition of terms. These are definition, for example, servo motor, blood oxygen sensor, what are they? And the air breather bag and so on. Chapter three will include the review and literature, uh, literature studies. And this should include, as I said, references for them and what people have done in this area. What is available, for example, also in the market. And they will take five uh, literatures, as we see here, local, okay, local literatures, if there are photos for that. And then they will take as uh, international or foreign studies. They will include it and uh, give an abstract about these international or local studies. Five studies should be there. Then they will give synthesis. What concerning these uh, literatures that they have been through, uh, what will they do? Or what is the thing that they are going to improve? Uh, and what what is available and so on. Chapter four will include the design specification, research paradigm. And this is the paradigm that I have talked about. Their system should include what is the input, what is the processing here, and what is the output there, the output there. Um, okay. These are should be explained. Function means project development the development in their project, and it includes some subtitles. The issue, definitions, then multiple design constraints, as I said, multiple design, for example, uh, in the term of microcontroller, there is one type, this type, or this type, maybe Raspberry Pi, or maybe uh, Atmega, or maybe a PLC. So with the PLC, you have to use these all components, for example. And with if you use this type of microcontroller, these would be with it. And if you use that, it would be those. So in terms of servo motor, why this, why this, why this? And we have a blood oxygen many types. Maybe some are very professional or very expensive. So uh, they will put some types in order to compromise between them. Medical pressure sensor here. Also some professional, very professional, and maybe uh, some are uh, can be used by the students or can be used by commercial. The back which are they using for oxygen, many types, screens, many types, what do they have to do? So from these three types proposed, they will make a comparison between them in terms of weighted decision matrix. Uh, matrix. These are the weights, okay? Concerning design A, design B, and design C. From these weights, we have some formula to use, and they will plot a relationship, for example, the cost score, the time score, and the durability, and then avail availability. And from these scores, okay, with safety also, from these scores, they will uh, they will get the one which is the 
good score related for example to project a or b or c and they will they will take it into consideration because they will be asked by the committee why did you choose this one rather than this one this one rather than that one and uh, the answer is there in this analysis they will give the bill of material that I, they have uh, used or purchased with their uh, component and uh, as we see after choosing one of the projects abc one of them there so this is the bill of material flow chart for their project <clears throat> for their program what is the uh, yani the stream of the flow chart to start with, to do with, and then ends with what? Then the block diagram for their circuit, for their project, sorry, for their project. Um, what are the input? What are the output? And so on. Circuit diagram for the project. Uh, this is a physical, of course, circuit diagram. They have used two microcontroller here. One is given for a certain job, and the other is to control. Uh, this one is concerns with the data on the screen. The other one concerns with the uh, oxygen, uh, yani oxygen and the blood sensor, and the pump as well. This schematic diagram for their uh, prototype. Then John chart, they have, how did they do their flow of work uh, during their project? Chapter five will include the design procedure. Of course, this will include the project description, what is included there as a component, as a power supply, as sensors and so on. And then the function, how is their project functioning implementing with some uh yani talking about the um, the software and the microcontroller they have used how did they assemble their component step by step in photos as we see here what is the component as mechanical or electrical used then this is the final prototype of their project uh, to be used with all names yani, uh, given on this prototype. Specification of the component used in their project, microcontroller or Duino. <clears throat> Specification of the micro the sensors specification and the LCD motor, stepper motor they used for pumping. And also this is a driver for the motor. And this one is the air pressure sensor. <clears throat> Right, here we have an Excel sheet yani, that they can calculate and do evaluation for uh, their project. Maybe the group or the students will make their project commercial in future. So in this uh, Excel sheet, they will calculate how much the cost uh, if they do uh, commercial uh, yani, to the market. What is the uh, uh, prelim, yani cost during the first year, second year, and so on? And at the end, how much they will cost, uh, how much the project will cost us? What is the benefit they can take? So this is an Excel sheet that show all the parameters and the number, as we see here, the costs. Of course, it cannot be explained because there are many, many factors there. 
and here there will be uh, the amortization payment chart you see as numbers there and then there will be a flow a graphical chart given in the top chapter six the design project summary okay then conclusion for that and chapter seven will be future work so after that there will be references at the end as we see many references are used appendix which include the information that should be should not be within the chapters or maybe they are extra and also it will include the code of their uh, of their program the code or the sketch of the of the uh, microcontroller instructions or plc instructions so they have used microcontroller. So this is the sketch is attached. <clears throat> okay. For this, uh, of course, for finalizing their report for, uh, I mean, this is the end of the appendix, but in submitting their report, they will include the, the uh, they will include also their CV and they will include um, the grammar, grammar test by a certain yani, shop or with a certificate of a grammar uh, correction and also will be included with their uh, project. I hope I give you a good idea about the, the project writing. We have a rubric, I mean, uh, with uh, as a as a S of the students here, okay, which is yani equivalent to the Abbott from A to K, okay, rubric, how are their scores? So at the end, it will be out of five as an average. At the end, so this is will be including with the CELO report, course intended learning outcomes report. Uh, for me, I mean, uh, I hope that I give you a good idea about uh, the students uh, choosing their topics and writings and report writings and how the procedure is going on within their period uh, of uh, working with the project. And uh, there is one point also that the student can work with the project A, his, uh, yani his, uh, he can work it out with three semesters. And also project B, he can work it out with the three semesters because we know that if he's applying hardware, uh, there might be some difficulties facing the students and so he's allowed to work out with the three semesters for each one. But nobody has done. Maybe there are some yani, circumstances with the student. Maybe he gets sick or whatever. So he has a chance to work on for the next semester. Thank you so much. If you have any questions. Thank you, thank, uh, thank you uh, Doctor, for sharing you. your uh, knowledge and information with us. I hope uh, uh, our <coughs> student and colleague uh, uh, know about uh, the how to evaluate the projects and the uh, student to know about how they choose the projects and how can they make a report for uh, final year projects and uh, how to uh, find out the problems and evaluate uh, the others issues also 
thank you thank you dr so much uh, i thank requested so much. Uh, i requested to everyone if uh, if anyone have a question can ask and i share the certificate link also with the in chat box you can register and you will get the certificate also and okay. uh, if anyone have a question kindly ask uh, anyone anyone have uh, any query you can write also in uh, our chat box doctor uh, uh, if anyone asks uh, then i will uh, uh, okay i, uh, I call you hear. but uh, i have a uh, one question yeah uh, kindly uh, kind of share with us uh, how can the student prepare a project means uh, they can uh, means participate in a competition in a gulf region or any other region and which type of competition or you know about the competition they can participate also and uh, which type of project they make uh, they can means uh, easily uh, means uh, you can say participate and uh, <clears throat> mean score a good a good score there in the competition yeah uh, <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> actually we have yani we have attended many uh, competition uh, that is event available in bahrain uh, events by universities and uh, we are there to present some projects and uh, these un i mean these other colleges for engineering uh, also present the project but uh, actually i mean we found our project are very very good and advanced compared with the other projects of the other universities and also there are some competition that we work with the robot wro we have some students to contribute with the wro international robotic and uh, we always yani during the last period we always are nominated from bahrain to international competition robot and uh, some students or some groups have commercial their project and they have used it as a problem uh, especially with the students working in uh, governmental or uh, factory they took some problem to solve and uh, they have uh, any reach to a final result which is very good and they applied it in their uh, in their uh, work yani in the factories if i have answered your question yeah uh, yeah uh, thank you doctor and thank uh, one of uh, our colleague he asking about uh, means uh, what are the best domain and application to work on the electrical and computer engineers and if you can suggest us it is better means Sorry, what are the I... uh, what are the best application or domain for the electrical and computer engineers so well the best application yeah I, yeah, if you suggest some application or domain so you mean as an application uh, for a project yeah application or domain for especially for the electrical and computer engineers yes um, well for this uh, field i propose that the students go with the uh, microcontrollers because this is the any this is the field of the future and it can be used everywhere either in electrical engineering such as in power electronic in controlling machines and applications or in computer engineering as well and as you know now the world is becoming is very small uh, and the apply application of these microcontrollers especially with internet of things you can control a lot of uh, things while you are outside or you are far distance so these type of control uh, will be applied in many disciplines as in electronic or in, in electrical engineering mm -hmm. so people or, or students i advise them to go within this field uh, to go through because this this is the heart of 
any control system. Uh, one of the student asking about the uh, most important invention and magazine that can a student choose a project idea. Means uh, for the student, uh, how can they choose the project ideas? Means uh, if uh, any fresh is he just uh, moved in a final year and he want to uh, means uh, choose some project idea. So uh, where he will go and he can means uh, initiate yeah. these ideas about the project. Okay, uh, we have many types of students. Maybe students are have their own job they are working. If they are working in somewhere, let's say a factory or whatever, they can look for a problem that is happening with, the, with this, yani as in the production line or automation, whatever. They can look for a problem and they can think of this problem, how can they uh, solve it with a new technology? This is one part. The other part, yani I advise the student to go, uh, you know, through YouTube's. There are uh, too many projects uh, they, that they can watch, and uh, they think of a new idea. Yani because if you watch a video for YouTube, it's a basic thing for you. And how can you? Maybe you will think in the future. How can you? make modification for this type of application. Beside that, they have to uh, read yani, technical papers uh, in transaction for IEEE in their field. What is the, uh, what are the people doing as the research? And from that, from that uh, field, they can think of, maybe they can build their own idea to uh, apply in a, a project, in a certain project. So um, now, yani, the internet is very useful for them, actually. Yeah. Even he can, he can from, uh, yani bring an idea from his own life, from his own life. Many people who are now very famous, they bought, brought an idea from their own life and then uh, they are now very famous and well known as a project. So these are the fields that I can use. Uh, uh, thank you, doctor. I, I appreciate you. and uh, I hope uh, the student uh, clear about that. And uh, there is a lot of way they can uh, choose their idea from the journals, uh, e-journals are there and from the locals and from your uh, home also, sometimes you get the idea, sometimes you get from idea from your uh, means uh, studies also. I remember one of the student in uh, second year, uh, I'm talking about the inverter circuit and he make it. Uh, so sometimes uh, you get idea from everywhere. And uh, as doctor mentioned that, uh, that uh, from the YouTubes and the e-journals are very good. And another question from the student, uh, he asking about the, how can I participate in the competition as a Dofar University student? So doctor, uh, any competition which is uh, held uh, uh, means uh, in a GCC level or world level? Uh, yeah, and, for, uh, yeah. And uh, means uh, uh, how can they get the information about the competition? Means, well, then... Uh, Yes, in GCC level, I think uh, Oman are, yani, I'm talking about WRO for robotic. Oman is a member in uh, robotic internet and, they, and we see some teams coming from Oman to share uh, maybe a university of Muscat, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, means, yeah. Uh, doctor, uh, means uh, if uh, the student want to know, so there is uh, any way or uh, any website or anything uh, they will get the information about the competition. So how yeah, they get the get information? It. Yes, for for robotic, uh, international robotic, the, you can go to the WRO. WRO, uh, okay. WRO, yeah, you can search for that and you will see that there is, uh, yani, what are their activity during the last years and so on. And uh, also the other uh, competition, <clears throat> Sorry, through the IEEE. IEEE yani, is uh, working with the student branch 
in all the GCC. Also, we have in Bahrain student branch. And there is another competition for robotic application with the GCC, robotic application. The people who are responsible for it, I mean, the who are, uh, let's say, as a coordinators is University of Bahrain. University of Bahrain is coordinating this uh, competition. And uh, the last years, um, you know, they came people from Saudi Arabia and also from Oman as well. Uh, so um, uh, these are you know, the ways to go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, doctor, so much uh, for giving thank us you so uh, uh, your time and your knowledge and share your information with us. So I appreciate and thank you so much on the behalf of thank the Bar so Honesty IEEE section. Okay. Thank, thank you, so you again for uh, again, uh, I share nominating me. Yes. Thank you for uh, nominating me for this presentation. Yeah, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, doctor. I share the certificate link and uh, yeah. you can register, uh, the participant can register and they will get the certificate uh, for this event. Thank you. So, thank you so much, everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. So is the link also for me, doctor? Uh, nothing, so doctor. I, I will call, talk uh, later about it. And, oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.